Hi, and welcome to Presence, How to Live and Lead Consciously. What we're going to explore today is how do you open yourself to receiving the results that you want. Sometimes, as hard as it may be, as hard it may be to accept, we actually block things that we think we want. And so what we want to look at today is how do you get past that to allow that in. I'm Ravi Tangri from Halifax, Nova Scotia. This is Holly Duckworth from Denver, and we're here for presence. Hi, Ravi. It's great to see you today. Well, I am particularly excited about this show. You know, we often schedule out topics a little bit in advance, but this one showed up in the moment, and, and we're both living it, and we wanted to share our leadership experience with you on the, on the core concept of willingness to receive. And, you know, we were raised in a race consciousness that says – giving is better than receiving. And as we embark upon this holiday season, it's about food drives and toy drives and all of these things and businesses come up and, you know, 5% cash back for, you know, this charity or that, you know, buy a car and, and we'll, you know, give money to charity or test drive. And while I believe in a very big power of that giving nature um, and have, do, have participated in all of those ways, I think we have to step back as uh, business owners and leaders in our families and say, um, we can't give unless we receive first and that's receiving love receiving financially receiving support from friends so uh, that's really what we're talking about today yeah and now just a reminder we've got a new format this month and ongoing for our show instead of one show a week we actually have two shows uh, we have our power show here on Tuesday seven minutes key information some solid tips. And then uh, on Thursdays, our deep dive show where we go even deeper into the same topic, more concepts, more, more information and more uh, tips. For November and December, you get both shows free if you're subscribing on iTunes. That's the only place you get it. Look up Presence on iTunes or look up Holly or me and I iTunes and you can get both shows. And then in January, you'll be able to subscribe to the deep dive shows. Uh, it, if you want, you can continue getting the power shows on iTunes. So our core concept about being willing to receive is stepping into the reality that as a human being having a spiritual experience, um, sometimes we put out um, messages of what we want to receive in the world. And yet when it comes back to us, it looks a little bit different than we thought it would. And so we want to talk a little bit about that today. And then certainly that pattern of getting outside of your comfort zone. Yeah, because a lot of times we have a picture of what we want. We set a goal and it's got to be this way. It's got to look this way, or it's got to be in this route. And we're not open to other ways of getting there. You know, you can set a plan in motion, a strategy in motion, and you think it has to be this way, but then a curveball comes that could open up a new doorway, but we're not open to it. Now, the other thing what you said about what's familiar is we also are in a habit sometimes of this is what's going to happen. You know, I, I've worked with so many people that talk about, oh, this always happens to me. I always run into people that butt heads with. And that's their familiar zone. And they don't know how to deal with someone when they get along with them. And in fact, they, they will sabotage it so it can be like that. And, and really, a simple way to look at that is if you cross your arms. I think I did this exercise once before. And then cross them the other way it's going to feel weird. Now, that's a minor thing, but you do that, you know, you cross your arms the other way for a week or so, it'll start to feel comfortable, but initially it feels strange. And in the same way, in a much bigger way, if stuff comes to you that's not the way you think it should be, you will often reject it, even if it's exactly what you asked for. So I have two words I've been playing with in my practice right now, and it's curiosity and discovery. And how that relates to business is also kind of one of our tips this week, which is, um, let's just say in life, a subordinate uh, comes to you and they have a different solution to a problem or a project that you're working on. Are you one of those people that instantly goes, no, this is, this is different than the status quo? Or are you going to step into that willingness to receive the curiosity and discovery that it is possible something higher and better may be coming 
into your work life. And we know that businesses are changing so dramatically with certainly younger in terms of age professionals coming into your industry. And I also like to always point out younger in terms of wisdom that we know people are changing industries right now. And so one tip is being open to curiosity and discovery when something comes up that you might be willing to uh, try a different way. Well, and that would be different from the way you would do it is key, right? And and it may actually get the job done just as well. And what you said about the younger workers, there is a difference in values often with the younger workers and the, the millennials and the, the, the baby boomers. And the, the younger workers put life work balance much higher than the baby boomers. And so what will happen often is they don't believe you have to work as hard to get the same results and they will find ways that are easier that just blow the mind of baby boomers so it's to be open to the fact that they can actually come up with ways to do things easier i know a friend of mine says this about her son at home that you know she needs certain tasks done and then he gets the job done in way without doing it the way she thought it would be and it's easier because he just wants to get finished with but he still gets the job done so how can you say yes to things that may not be what you're comfortable for, with? That's the biggest tip. How can you say yes, unless your spider sense goes off that there's something wrong here, how can you say yes to things that you may not be comfortable with or familiar with? So the, the last thing I'll say on, on this uh, for our power show is also um, being willing to receive often means being willing to take the path of least resistance. That so often we, we throw up that wall, nope, got to do it this way, or it's got to look this way, or sound this way, or feel this way. And I think stepping up and being willing to receive means taking the path of least resistance. Okay, so this is, as I said, our power show. If you want more on this concept of how do we receive, how do I, we allow ourselves to receive, uh, subscribe on iTunes. Just look up Holly uh, or me, Ravi Tangri, uh, or The Present Show. Subscribe there for November, December. You get the Deep Dive Show for free. So you can get all of that information uh, through, through the next uh, month and a half. And uh, we shall catch you in two days. Have a great day. Bye-bye.